fellow eggheads, I'm Liz. I'm a certified HP technician, and I'm going to show you how to fix this problem of won't turning on, freezing, or no, no, or turning on then off. And it's actually a relatively easy fix, but you will need a screwdriver to get into your computer. Uh, and you can look at your HP uh, owner's manual online to see how to get into your HP. And I've used this method to revive literally thousands of HPs. It's simple, and it's going to save you money. So once you get inside your HP you are going to need to locate the battery and the battery cable. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to unplug that battery by grabbing onto the two little tabs, being careful not to touch the other components. And I'm going to pull in those tabs and unplug the battery. Once I've done that, I'm going to, as you can see, my power button is unplugged, so I'm going to need to plug that back in. And we're going to do what's called releasing the flea power. I know that sounds weird, but the, having the residual flea power in the system, uh, we're going to release it, and this can cause a, um, cause a reset to your system that can fix it. So I'm going to plug that back in. It can be a little tricky. And you might have a slightly different setup, but that's okay. The goal is to have your power button working. So with it unplugged, the battery, I'm going to hold down the power button for one minute. After that one minute is up, then I'm going to plug the battery back in. Once the battery is plugged back in, then I can go ahead and plug the computer itself back in and hit the power button. And if the computer turns on, then you know that that was it. it. That was the issue. Now, if your computer doesn't turn on, we're going to turn on to method two. Isn't that exciting? I know it's not, but we're going to do it anyway. So, next thing we're going to do is we're going to unplug that battery. I'm going to leave my uh, power button plugged back in. I'm going to unplug the battery. Make sure that power button's in there nice and secure. And I'm going to hold that down for one minute. After one minute is up, then I'm going to, with the power button, with the battery pack unplugged, I'm going to just plug in my power cord. Why am I going to do this? Because I've released the flea power and the battery's unplugged and now the computer turns on. So I know the problem is with the battery. Works. So, method three though. If this doesn't work, now we're going to test to see if it's a problem with your power cord. We're using the process of elimination to see which thing is giving you an issue. So now the battery's unplugged, so I'm just going to go ahead and I'm going to hold it down for a minute. After a minute, I'm going to plug that battery in, and I'm this time going to leave just the battery plugged in to see if the computer turns on without my power cord plugged in. If it does, then I know it's a problem with my power cord. Anyway, uh, if you found this video in any way helpful, please like and share. If these methods weren't what's wrong with your computer, I'm sorry to hear it, but we have some more suggested videos down below that can give you some great suggestions on what could be the problem.